this year's SIBO Symposium is going to build on last year's SIBO Symposium. So that means that if you saw last year's symposium, you can still come to this one and learn new things. We have all new topics for this year. And if you didn't see last year's SIBO Symposium, you can still come to this one and uh, learn everything we're going to talk about. But I would recommend watching one or two of the lectures from last year's symposium just to make sure you're up, up to date. I would recommend watching Dr. Pimentel's introductory lecture, the first one um, of, this, of the symposium, and also the three treatment algorithm lectures so that you have a good overview of, of all the different treatments and the general approach uh, that most of the doctors take to SIBO. Last year, we discussed two of the treatments in depth w um, with our own lectures, and that was herbal antibiotics and diet. What we didn't talk about last year, we're now going to talk about this year, which are pharmaceutical antibiotics, elemental diet, and prokinetics. Prokinetics are part of treatment. They are part of prevention. So we're going to go over all of that. We're going to have the same speakers we had last year, guest speakers, um, Dr. Pimentel, fabulous Dr. Pimentel, and the fabulous Dr. Weinstock. Dr. Weinstock is also going to talk about leaky gut in SIBO, which is a big interest of many people. And then we have another speaker, uh, Dr. Mullen. He put out, an, uh, with his team, a study on herbal antibiotics being very effective for SIBO. And he's going to talk about that, as well as the other approaches he uses to treating SIBO, which include diet and other things. And um, we have the worms coming. The worms have developed a technique uh, a physical therapy technique to get rid of adhesions. Adhesions are like scar bands that can form in and around the intestines causing obstruction or partial obstruction. And this is one of the underlying causes of SIBO, uh, which can be quite difficult to treat. Usually it's treated with surgery and that can just cause more adhesions. So it's a complicated thing. And we're thrilled to have learned about this well-studied proven technique for um, non-surgical treatment of adhesions. The, uh, the, one of the main topics we're going to talk about this year is underlying causes. Dr. Pimentel is going to lecture us on that. I've, I've asked him to share um, his knowledge and thoughts on the underlying causes of SIBO. Whenever we have a problem in the body, if we can focus on the underlying causes, we can be so much more successful. And this is where a lot of us get stuck in SIBO because many of the underlying causes are hard to identify, very hard to treat, sometimes near impossible to treat. So he's going to lecture us on our options here, including um, ways to test for it and what to do. And then um, we've got some other great things that are new this year. We've got a whole bunch of case presentations where we're going to explain you know, the types of cases we see um, from simple to difficult. And hopefully that will help us all uh, learn. We can all learn from each other's cases. We're also going to take on test interpretation. Uh, the lactulose breath test is the main diagnostic test used for SIBO, but what's really difficult is that there's no set agreed upon criteria for how to interpret it. So we'll discuss that and ways that you can interpret it, take you through some test examples. And um, we're also going to um, go over some other tests you can do for SIBO, or you, you should think about basically for the SIBO patient, and talk a little bit more about diet. Um, with the theme of underlying cause um, for this symposium, I wanted to go to the underlying cause of diet and just give a brief lecture on that, on what, what's really going on with why SIBO causes um, food intolerance and why all the diets target carbohydrates. And that's because of carbohydrate malabsorption. And lastly, we're going to have a lecture um, that, like we did last year that's open forum. It's called Clinical Pearls. We have a few uh, doctors we've asked to share that we know do treat a lot of SIBO. Just make sure that they share some of what they're finding works. But after that, the floor is open for anyone attending to share what they think is working with all of us so we can all learn. I think it's just going to be fantastic, and I hope you can join us.